Times, very first video podcast. I am, of course, Sir Mitch. Bloke in the middle is Mr. Botch Raid. He's organised this whole thing. We are a big get of gratitude. Say hi, Botch. Hi, Botch. Great, great first show. And, of course, none other than we are joined by the Queen of Wrestle Royalty herself, the owner, the, the founder. She's our whole world. She's everything she's to us. She's done everything for us. She's the mum. She's the queen. She's everything. Miss Kendra <laughs> Bunyan. Hi. Hello. And, of course, Botch still in the golf club. Great. Right. Great way to start. <laughs> right. Now, hey, this is going to be great, isn't it? We've got a big weekend of wrestling coming up with WWE. We've got NXT TakeOver. We've got Survivor Series. Oh, of course, we have to check this out. Queen, bring it back up. Bring it back up. For you guys, we've got Wrestle Royalty merchandise coming very, very soon. Don't you worry. Yes, that's coming to the site very soon. It will become more and bigger. We'll soon we'll have more shirt designs, more merch designs than the Bullet Club. Well, maybe not as many as the Bullet Club, but you'll get the drift. So, ladies and gentlemen, so what, what, what about NXT TakeOver this week? What about the match card? I mean, this is going to be huge. War Games. Give us your thoughts, guys. Watch you first. Oh, That's God. what you reckon. It's, it's, I think it's, it's going to be really interesting this time because I think, I think Survivor Series and TakeOver are going to be about as good as each other. I'm so used to NXT being so much better, and I don't think that's going to be the case this time. And it's not that... NXT is that much worse, but it's that Survivor mm. Series is that much better. They're both going to be, I think, really worth watching. I mm. dearly love Ember Moon. I cannot wait mm. to see her match. I think it's going to be spectacular, um, and I hope she comes out on top. It's certainly time, to say the very least. It's mm. certainly time. Um, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too mad if Kyrie came out on top either. But I'd really like to see Ember come out on top. Um, I think Andrade Cien Almas is about as exciting as watching Orange Paint dry. Um, <laughs> so that's going to be a bit of a problem for me. Zelina's great. He's not. Mm. Um, I, I do like Drew, just like you do, Mitch. You told, you, we were talking before a bit about that. I do like Drew. Mm. I mm. I'm sorry, but I do. Um, so he's interesting, but the match in and of itself... Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I, I feel you, mate. I feel you. Yeah, I'm just well, I'm I think, not that invested. Well, it's just you know, Almas isn't isn't there yet. I mean, he's a great in ring worker, but the problem is his personality stuff isn't there yet. When you've worked under a mask and CML for ten years, you don't really need much personality stuff. It's all in the mask. That's how they do it down there. But you know, now he's you now he's in the sports entertainment world. It's a bit you know, it's a bit off. But you know, he's got the mouthpiece, and she's done a great job of yeah. building it up. So. I, I'm sure the match. Will, I'm sure the match will be good. I mean, Drew Mac. I don't think Drew McIntyre can have a bad match, but it's yeah, it's just not all that enthralling. Ken, what do you think about the match card for NXT Takeover? I, being very old school, I love the War Games, but oh, yeah. as I mentioned to you before, that lid being missing really bothers me. It takes away so much of what War Games is. Okay. There's mm. no. Fingers into the top and swinging and kicking people in the face. Although mm. it's mis- it'll be missing something. I know they'll make it look beautiful. It'll mm. be an amazing match, but missing that roof is bothers me. Well, I mean, it was Vince's call, Sam. Like Triple H wanted the roof. He wanted it as traditional as they could get. But you know, tri- uh, Vince said Vince was thinking that people compare it to Hell in a Cell, which I think is silly right. because I can't think of two more different matches. But you know. What Vince's guys well, the, the lid height between the matches is so different. It it it's crazy. Yeah. Hell in the cell's like twenty feet in here and 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 war games is what, like ten feet? I mean, if that's so Ask Shane, he knows how high it is up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you jump up it twice. Twice. Crazy bastard. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, and what I mean, I, I think not just an NXT, but uh, a Survivor Series here. The women are going to steal steal this weekend. Oh, absolutely, no question. I mean, um, I mean, I've, yeah, I mean, all M- four I, in NXT, all four of the women. Yeah, yeah, in yeah NXT, absolutely. They're amazing, and then oh yeah, they're all so good. I know, I mean, I've said this so many times over the last couple of months. Women's division, right? Women's evolution, women's if you want to call it, has saved WWE programming. 
so many times now, it's not funny. It really has. I mean, I can't, I can't count the amount of rules and smackdowns, which have not been very good, that were saved by main events by Sasha or Charlotte or, or Alexa or, you know, you know, just, just Bailey. Just these great, great, great matches that the chicks are having right now. They're putting the blokes to shame. So just... Absolutely. The personalities, their ring work, their mm. everything. They are, and they're also different looking. The diversity is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yes, Absolutely. there's blondes, but there's yeah. so much more than just blondes. Now, I mean, yeah. Charlotte's girl next door and Bliss is Bliss. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. Bliss, bliss is Bliss. She's very, right now. she's just bliss so is Bliss. bliss. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Natty the Cat Lady. Oh yeah, not, you know, we can't can't pick We're the talking cat blondes. Lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, like but here's here's the thing. Everybody thinks Ember Moon Ember Moon's the favourite, obviously. And even um before Ask us Asuka got hurt, the plan was always for her to uh, drop the belt and move to the main roster undefeated. That was always the plan. Obviously her injury brought that brought those plans up. Um I know everyone believes Ember Moon, Ember Moon is the next person alive, but I honestly, we talked about this earlier, I think there's going to be a swerve. There's going to be a, most likely Absolutely. a swerve. I'm, from my point of view, I'm kind of wishing it'd be Peyton Royce, the Australian in me. I can't help it. I want Peyton, I'd love to see Peyton Royce win, but I think it's probably more likely going to be either be Nikki Cross or Kari Sane. Money on Kari Sane because she won the Mayan Classic. Money on Nikki. My own Nikki Cross. Okay. What are you reading, Botch? I really think. Oh, stop laughing at me, Botch. No, no, I'm not laughing at you. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I, it, it is so time for Ember Moon to get it. Yes. But mm. I just have a feeling they're going to swerve. She has been so good chasing the strap. Yeah, that's true. I'm wondering if they're worried how good she'll be carrying it. I think she can do it. But mm. I also, I have to wonder if she might not win it on at NXT, but show up as the fifth person for SmackDown? That's Ooh. possible. That's possible. I've, I've I, I just, for a, that's possible. I'm just throwing out ideas, and that would yeah. be, I mean, even if it was just for one night, it would be yeah. phenomenal yeah. to see how the fans react to her on the big the stage. stage. Yeah, absolutely. I think they'll. I think. I think out of all the women in NXT, Ember Moon probably has the biggest following. Actually, at the moment, I think that's probably at, at uh, maybe apart from um, uh, 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 Nikki. Uh, what's the oh, crap? What's her name again? Um, you, you know what I mean. The sanity chick. <laughs> Nikki Cross. Nikki yeah. Cross. Yeah. Nikki, yeah, Nikki Cross. Yeah. Apart from Nikki Cross, I think uh, those two probably have the biggest followings. And unless Sanity's going up to the main roster, Nikki isn't. So I'd say. Yeah, that that's a good possibility, but I think I think more like more than likely Paige is probably gonna be the fifth fifth woman in SmackDown women's stadium, actually. So So I'm um, well it, it she's she was supposed to come back I think a weeks ago, but like they keep holding her off. I think eventually they're gonna bring her back. So Well and there was a thing and I think too with the, series with the best picture. And there was this thing that she did with the picture too, with her and Alicia. Apparently that was an issue yeah. as well that might have kept her off on Monday. But yeah. if it did how nice is that? It'd be much better to debut on a pay-per-view. I mean, a big re-entrance exactly. like that is much better on a pay-per-view oh, yeah. than it is on a Raw episode. More bars. I am more bars. Yeah. But I do oh, have a nagging. Uh, I do have a nagging fear that that we all know that there are more. Sadly, there are more pics and vids of her out there, and I have this horrible fear that yeah. as the whoever has them is waiting for her to come back to release them. So. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm not. I'm pretty much betting that's what's going to happen. Because we've seen a couple of previews, and from what we've seen of the previews, they're, they're worse than the last lot. So yeah. I, I hate to bring it up, but we have to, and we'll probably have to report about it. But we'll just yeah. have to say, oh, I'm just going to say it right here, right now on video, condemn that crap to, to death. That is so vulgar. That is so, not, not Paige, obviously. No, the no, street. the people, whoever's no. releasing this crap. Exactly, exactly. I mean, she's an adult, she's a grown-up, everyone's consenting, do what you want. Right. Exactly, exactly. People who steal private stuff, any kind of private stuff, especially that, no. It's private. Dirty dog. Right. Yeah. Right. right. On to much happier things. Survivor Series okay. card. <laughs> Survivor Series card. 
Like one of the matches you guys are most looking forward to at Survivor Series because we've had an incredible build this time around. I mean, I think the last three, four weeks of Raw and SmackDown have been the best all year, quite frankly. Absolutely. The build has been phenomenal. The swerves, the craziness. This is this is what I watch wrestling for, and they've been giving it to us. None of this, oh, crap, we have a pay-per-view in two weeks. Let's throw together some <laughs> crap matches and put them in a condemned house to fight. Doesn't make sense. They put an actual body storyline up. Oh, it's been beautiful. They didn't think, oh, we got to market a tour. We have to put, put this guy. We we got a tour in India. Let's let's strap a job on named Jinder Mahal. They actually put up some freaking thorn into it this time around. A jobber from Canada, not a jobber from India, even. Exactly. Hello. You're all the cold hearted. <laughs> that's just crazy. Oh, but man. that's Vince lately. Oh. Yeah, well, I, I've said this for a long time. Vince is running WWE like a marketing company, not a not a wrestling promotion or entertainment company. No. That's All he just, cares about is the money coming in and not the fans these days, and it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Well, and I've I've got to, they keep saying that they're, they're, they're the most profitable they've ever been, and that's true. But if you look at the numbers a little deeper, twenty percent reduction in ticket sales. Merch is down, interest is down, social media numbers are down, everything oh, yeah. is down. The, the only reason they, they cut, they're cost cutting, there's no more pyro, they're getting rid of people that aren't considered necessary. The, I mean, the reason why there is so much in the black is because their TV deal is ridiculous. They charge a fortune for their TV rights, and they've got a, and the deal comes up in 2019. No way in hell you were saying that we're going to give into whatever they want. So, no, the, the three hour show just to make extra money is absolute oh. bull. Yeah, and it's made raw, almost unwatchable. That third hour is absolutely brutal. It always is. Oh, it's yeah. Only ever, it's only ever saved by a good main event, which they only do like once every two months. So, yeah. yeah. Can we talk a minute too about the cost cutting? Okay, so. They need to save money. I get that. Companies have to do that. But mm. you get rid of James Ellsworth, who was just on TV, and he goes away very quickly, but you keep David Otunga. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. And, 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 yeah, and, and, we're, and not, not just because of, you know, Recent accusations, which we're not, I don't want to go into because no, I'm, not no. I'm not 100 percent convinced because a lot of that's going around lately, and we don't want to, you know, you know, you know, starting witch hunts. Although obviously that stuff's horrible, but like I said, <laughs> Kendra's cat saying hello. So yeah, like, I see. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. <laughs> but like you know, I agree. Otunga adds absolutely nothing to the product. The only reason why he's there is because of his association with. A famous entertainer and now that that's over i can't imagine him staying around so i really it does not make sense that he is still there other no. than his association with her and how much does that really bring any awareness to the wwe zero well, well i don't know i mean i think when jennifer jennifer hudson does a rap battle with james corden on tv and james corden mentions him that's probably just that's about it so I think that's probably the only reason why. Um, every once in a while, you'll see a red carpet picture and they'll put his name yeah. and WWE superstar, but. Yeah. That's... Another thing. Yeah. Yeah. Another uh, point on, on, on watch about cost cutting. I'm not, I'm sure this problem maybe, maybe wasn't a cost cutting decision because there was a lot of rumors around. Why the hell did they release Emma? I'm not just saying this because I'm Australian and I took, I took that heart harsher than most. Why the hell would you release Emma just when she was in the middle of the feud with Oscar? She was getting over with evil Emma, evil Emma gimmick, even not the crap Emmalina stuff that they forced on her. That right. was never going to work. She was, no. getting over with, she was getting over with evil Emma. She was having, she was doing some really good stuff. Then as soon as the match starts to her, they're gone. I, I get some writers weren't happy with her and... I can understand that, but you know they were giving her nothing but crap to work with. So, and I mean, no, I they think it was horrible the way she was 
and then just poof, gone. I get again, you know, to Mitch's point, I get why they would be upset. It makes perfect sense why they would be upset. They spent weeks building up Emelina, only to have it completely die on the vine. So I get that they would be upset, but then if you're upset, job her out every chance you get. Don't make her look like something and then get rid of her. That's yes, what doesn't they, make sense. they laid it on her as if it was her fault. Yeah, I mean, although you know. she has she has gotten a bit of a bad rep at the minute because she was offered a pretty sweet deal by Stardom, the female wrestling promotion in Japan, which is very big, about half the Mae Young Classic competitors work there. Tony Storm is the current champ there. They offered her a generous deal, but she asked for something much larger, which was actually quite ridiculous, and naturally they turned her down. So she's she would have a lot of offers in the independent scene. Obviously, she'd get great work with Shimmer and Shine. She'd get great work with Stardom, but apparently her asking price is too high. So, so who the hell knows what's going on there? Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know about that. That's new information. Mm. Yeah. I certainly hope that wasn't part of what got her dismissed. I mean, there maybe there could be more to it than we know, of course. Maybe because I remember hearing something about, you know, she, they would present her ideas and she'd go, no, I I'm not doing that. I'd heard there was yeah, some yeah. of that going on, too. So who knows how far that went and how much of an irritant she was. Maybe that was part of it, yeah. too. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's all good, Ken. I don't think that's just Emma, though. I think a lot of people have questioned. Neville left because he wasn't happy. So I think a lot of people are really, it's not just fans that are fed up with creative. I mean, if, if, if we're fed up with creative, imagine how fed up the wrestlers have to be. I don't so, know. I mean, I think Neville left a hair too quick. I mean, I would love to have seen, I would love to have seen kind of more of a, more of the feud between him and Enzo. I, I think it would have been fun to see more of it. I understand how he could be somewhat disheartened about being stuck on 205 Live. I do get it. But man, that would have been fun to see more of. Because I love Enzo to death. I just do. I do too. Yeah, he's great. He's really fun on the he, mic. He, he's annoying as all get out, but he's amazing. He really is. He doesn't yeah. run out of material for the most part. Sometimes it gets a little squirrely, but he doesn't really run out. He is getting better in the ring. All the stuff we hoped would happen where image and substance oh. meet, it's starting to happen. It's going to take a little while longer, but he's getting there. It is getting better. He's getting decisive wins that actually well, work like well, something. Well, I suppose he couldn't get any worse. That's true, but, and it really could, and I agree with you, but it is, I mean, if you, I don't know if you saw 205 this past week, but he was really yeah. much better. It yeah. looked better. So he's getting there. Right. It's just going to take him a minute, and hopefully WWE will be patient and let him get there. But it is getting better, and that's really nice to see. And plus, you know, on the Enzo thing, seeing him with Drew Gulak is golden. It's so funny. Yeah, that's that's funny. It's that's Gene, funny. How are you doing? Like it's <laughs> that is funny. It just destroyed that is me. Quite funny. Oh, it destroyed me. They're so good. But I again, I mean I really wish Neville would have stuck around a bit longer so we could have seen how that could have really played out. It, you know, and I again I don't know exactly why he left, but I think it, it would have been fun to to see that play out a bit more. Well, apparently the rumor is he might be coming back. They've been talking with them, trying to convince him to come back. I saw That's that the rumor at the minute. Well, the rumor is that he hasn't actually, that he's still under contract, but mm -hmm. they're, you know, he hasn't completely minute. walked out on it, but that he, they're working on convincing him. To come back, yeah. To well, not sit out his contract. Yeah. Well, obviously, obviously they think, well, if, if, if I don't know. Matt, Matt, maybe they still see perceive him as money, and they want him back, or maybe they just don't want him sitting at his contract and going somewhere else and bad-mouthing the company. I don't know. But if they if, if 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 they want him back, they want him back. But that's that's his choice. But like I think the larger point I'm trying to make here is um, what like after WrestleMania, there's always a bunch of releases. I don't think there's going to be releases. I think with you know New Japan having their next US show, exactly, they're going to be people walking. Ring, Ring yep. of Honor have got Ring of Honor have that have their have their Super Card of Honor show at WrestleMania weekend. It's in a, it's at a, a seven eight thousand seat arena. They're gonna fill that joint. It's a, they've sold almost five thousand tickets already. They're gonna fill that joint. It's gonna be a right. big massive show. And you know, there's never been a better time to be a wrestling fan. 
that we we keep saying that. I think think there's been a better time to be a wrestler because there's. I was just going to say that. Yeah, there are absolutely for these guys now. They can make enough money to easily live working the uh, Ring of Honor, New Japan, working the indie circuit even. Mm. And they're getting, look at the Young Bucks, they're getting oh. recognized. They're not and getting they're, recognized, they're getting rich. They've, mer- they, 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 they've merchandised their own, they've trademarked themselves and their merchandise is selling like mad. Those young men went from being arrogant little toolboxes I know you who, who were just, couldn't even give anyone who had put in the time before them any credit for anything they'd done. Yeah. And they are now, they grew up, they're fantastic mm-hmm. in the ring. I still think they're spot monkeys, but hey, that's my personal opinion. They really, they, I'll be honest, they are. and that seems like most, almost all they can do from what I've seen personally, oh, but no, I'm sure there's talk. more. I'm, I'm watching more. I'm taking your advice. I'm watching more of their work, but they're they're really, they're good businessmen. Oh, yeah. They're, and they're, they know they're... how to market themselves. The other, uh, like, within the past two weeks, someone was looking for help on Twitter, asking for yeah, a yeah, reach yeah. so that he could buy a shower chair for his physically disabled son. Yeah. And, and Mitch, you'll them, remember I... which brother it was. He went and he paid the whole GoFundMe and everything else was gravy. Which brother was it? It I think it was the young one. It was it, Nick. It, it, yes. Yes, 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 yes. You know, that really impressed the heck out of me that he's like, oh, we can yeah. do better than that. Well, th- yeah. these guys, people don't realize because they're so young, they're actually both family men. They both have a couple of kids each. So, wow. The American had kids young. So, <laughs> so there's a request. Young, young and buck. It's not just the name. So, <laughs> Yes, they have some young bucks running around. <laughs> oh, mate. Very I can well. Make watch, watch and laugh. I've done my job right. <laughs> no, it's him turning red that's even better. I turned red on a dime. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I have to say they're really, really starting to impress me. I- I'm mm-hmm. blown away at their business acumen. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not just making money for themselves. The deal they've worked out with the, every member of the Bullet Club, even like the lower level guys like Chase Owens, is making money off it. So they're, 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 they're all making bank. Yeah, they yeah. really are. Incredible. I agree with you. Um, it's, yeah. yeah, I mean, why would they ever go to WWE now? They make, they've got to be making half a mil a year from just from the Hot Topic deal. So. I mean, that's the point, really. There's no point to, you don't have to jump to WWE if you don't want to. Now, it's no longer the monopoly that it once was. You could, just yeah, as Kendra exactly. said, you could do a bunch of things and be perfectly fine. WWE is now an option. It is no longer the only mm. thing. And that's really great for them. And it's great for us, too, to echo Mitch's point. Everyone wins. Oh, yeah. Everyone. If there's, we- think of it. If there's more interest in the, pro- if there's more interest in the product as a whole, even Vince wins. Nobody can possibly lose. Exactly. It's it's like Jericho said when he when he explained the, the Wrestle Kingdom match with Kenny Omega. You know, and I, I, Vince probably wouldn't be upset because in Vin, in Vince's mind, you know, you're probably free advertising for him as well. So yeah, no one loses with this. Yeah, Jericho, no one. Jer- Jericho is has a great relationship with Vince and can yes. virtually do no wrong at this point. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think, I don't think Jericho's been actually fully on the contract, like full long-term contracts since like 2012 or something. He's always come back in these part-time deals because he has like mm-hmm. a, ha- like it maybe even handshake stuff with Vince because he's got such a great oh, relationship. Yeah. With him. And and, and oh, you know, yeah. it's not like it's not like Jericho didn't give you no know, Vince and Co a, ch- a choice chance to do the the cruise thing. I mean, he originally wanted NXT guys, but they said no, so he went to Ring of Honor, and through Ring of Honor, he had a chance to go to. New Japan and get some of their guys. That's that's the reason he's wrestling Wrestle Kingdom because he wants to convince uh, New Japan to let some of their guys wrestle on the cruise. So I'm just really bummed. Ah! Sorry. 
<laughs> just really bummed to um, not be on that cruise. Yes, yeah. uh, that, that would be a fun cruise. I mean, it would I, be. I mean, not just the rest, music acts seem pretty damn cool as well. So, oh, yeah, just the whole yeah. thing seems like it's going to be amazing. Absolutely, yeah, it really would. Be. All right, we've we've all right, we've plodded along a lot here. We better get to Survivor Series. We better talk about some of the matches. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, there is Survivor Series on Sunday. Completely forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> I was having fun. Yeah. So I was fine with this. Well, yeah. I, I actually, I you mentioned earlier, Botch, I actually think this Survivor Series or this big four pay-per-view is going to be bigger and more yeah. talked about than TakeOver. Could be. Probably. Yeah. First, first time in a long time. Sure. First, first time, time in a couple of years. <laughs> just ever ever because i mean think about it after every single pay-per-view the only thing that we care about is takeover we don't care about the oh, other yeah. pay-per-view the casual fans do but we don't like the wrestling fans because yeah, we're no. such nerds yeah, yeah. Like, we only care about takeover we don't care about anything else I always, break it, I always break it down wwe fans pro wrestling fans that's mm. that's the different demo True. Um, so Pro wrestling fans are more into takeover. WWE fans are more into the baby. So true, but not now. Now everybody nope. gets what they want on both of them, really. Exactly. Yeah, both shows are stacked, but Survivor Series is probably stronger. Um, let's yeah. talk about uh, uh, Shield versus New Day. For something that's that that sprung up the last two weeks. That's gonna be that's gonna be something. Ah, oh, watch. Got the video <laughs> shirt. Look out. <laughs> I am so excited about this match. I can't wait to see what these six guys are going to do together. Well, I'm yeah. not sure Woods can and Kofi can keep up with Ambrose and Rollins as well as well. Okay, okay. Hell in a Cell uh, proved a lot. I will give you that. I see that face. I, but I it's Ambrose and so. Rollins. I'm not even putting Reigns in this. Those two... You know, just uh, leave Reigns to deal with Biggie, who is Biggie is amazing. Just not sure Woods and and Kofi have what it takes to put up with Ambrose oh, and Rollins. Come on, hell oh. in a cell! Did you see that? Did you see what they did in there? How extreme mm. they got! How incredible the work was! The story that all three of them, all all six, all five of them told. It was absolutely incredible. I completely, I got to disagree with you completely there. I never disagree with you like that. But I think Kofi and Xavier proved that they can more than hang with just about anybody they put them in the ring with. I think they will be just fine. I think they will surprise you. And I really wish I could see your face when they do it. It will be funny. Okay, I will have the camera on so you can do see it. my face. They're going to nail this. It's going to be so much fun. They're all going to come through and surprise you. I can't wait to see this. I I but do you agree. think that New Day is going to be able to win it? No. I don't think they no. can because S.H.I.E.L.D. Exactly. They can't. But that's just good. That's a paper decision that you have to make because they just recently reunited. You have to do that. Are they good enough to win? Just our smarky selves? Yeah, they really are. But really? can they do it? Should they do it oh, on paper? I can't. I'm sorry? And look, I say, so look, everyone knows. I'm not the biggest New Day fan. I openly admit that. I, yeah, I, yeah, big shock, right? I hate the gimmick. I, I can't know. stand it. I find it childish and silly. But, but, individually, Kofi Kingston, Xavier Wood, Big E, unbelievably talented. Kofi Kingston, even before New Day, was unbelievably talented. Singles superstar. Now, up yes. on mid-card level, all right? Xavier Woods, a lot better than people realize. He doesn't do solo matches very oh. much. He doesn't do tag matches very much. He is very, very good in there. Big E, fast improvement ever since oh, he yeah. goes on at next D. Right? I think absolutely, I agree with Botch absolutely. They are absolutely going to be able to hang with the Shield. There's yes. no doubt in that. But again, but everyone's correct. Shield are going to go over because yes. it's, it's the Shield reunion. And we all know why Shields reunited. It's because, it, it's, it's because give Roman Reigns a few years before he oh, faces Lesnar at Mania. Oh yeah, it's not working, but that's the idea. <laughs> if anything, it's just it. Well, if anything, it's just helping you know Rollins and Reigns who uh, Rollins and uh, Ambrose who've been um, uh, landering ever since WrestleMania and in, in being given less than 
good creative stuff to, 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 to do. But, you know, with this Shield reunion, creative is focusing on them again and they get the opportunity to shine. They get the opportunity to show why they should be main eventing shows. So that's just that. I'm going to come back at Botch for a minute. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I, don't, don't I have, have to mention this because I mentioned it the other day in my, my, my the SmackDown flush. Mm. But, um, and this is totally different from their work rate and what they can do in the ring. Do you think that they're going to start showing cracks this early? I think they're going to break up after Mania. Oh, it, that's my prediction. I think so, too. I mean, I would hate to see them ever break up. And I think, really, when they do, it would probably come down to merchandise because they sell yeah. so very, very much of it. Um, mm. Exhibit A, this is the only piece of WDB merchandise I own. I even have a cereal box. That is how sad I am. Um, <laughs> yeah. But that's all that I have. Watch like, Raid is 44 years old, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know. Hey, <laughs> watch the age. And I, don't look at, and I don't look a day over 43, do I? Um, <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not Gee, cool. thanks. Cool. Thank you very little. <laughs> cool. But but do you Nobody think they're actually going to... They just said it on SmackDown this week. Do you think we're already going to see cracks at Survivor Series? Ooh. I think... I think they might tease it, but I don't think the full-on breakup will start happening. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, they gosh, may, the they, breakup will happen for a while. They may tease it. They may, like, you know, Big E yeah. might watch the, like, watch the spear and cost them the match or something. Like, that. You no, know, that awful, you no know, ringside spear, that outside dive spear that he's almost killed himself 20 times with. He might, yeah, they they might do some, a spot there where they'll he'll watch that and he'll be out of the match and he'll cost them the match or something. I don't know. That's my, I, yeah, I reckon it'll, it'll be teased. Yeah, teased, but not gone anywhere. Yeah, and yeah. anyone who does those dives needs to watch Lita after she broke her neck diving through oh, the rope. Oh, and think twice. Not, I mean, she didn't hurt herself on that one, but that one is the one that scares the, I won't watch it anymore. Yeah, that true strange, but she contorted herself. Damn. Yeah, that was bad. And I think anyone who died from the ring should see that and think about it. Yeah, I don't. I honestly don't know what Biggie is thinking on that. I don't know why he keeps doing it because there's so many other things that he does that look really good. He doesn't have yeah. to resort to that move every time he does it. I, I agree with you, Kendra. Every time he does it, I cringe. Every single time. Well, it's the thing about good. It's, it's not, not safe. safe. Yeah. Well, the thing the thing about that move is that what, what reason why Lita botched that? Who who legs touched the rope and she lost momentum and yeah, that 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 happened. Yeah. The mm -hmm. thing with the thing with that move is obviously you get your hands out to break your fall and you you know it really the move doesn't really hurt that much either guy you're just pushing the guy if if anything. Yeah, but then you got to land the way. Yeah, I know, but with the way <laughs> Big E does it, sorry, the way Big E does it, he has no way to protect himself because he's trying to protect the other person. When he's hitting them yeah. and coming down, yeah, with that, it's 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 essentially a spear to the outside, but with like a ordinary spear in the ring, you just falling down on your knees or something. You don't really need to protect yourself. Yeah, that's more protecting the other bloke. With that, you've got you you you're falling four or five feet to the ground, have no way of spotting yourself, and you're trying to make sure you don't kill the other bloke. So yeah. it's just a dumb move every way. And every even the God every time he gets up, he's always doing one of these. Oh, he's always grabbing his neck. Every he's always neck, neck. And he has a huge neck, and he's doing this. It would kill the rest of us to do that. It's not worth it. It's like that stupid diving headbutt that Harley Race used to do. Stop oh, yeah. it. You don't have to and, do it. And Chris, Chris Benoit, Benoit's exactly. problems, Daniel Bryan's problems. Stop doing that damn move. Well, Ban it. I as I said, I've been watching since the start of Raw. I've been watching the chronological the whole way through, and I had forgotten about this, but Edge's very first televised match, he came out over the top, took out one of Los Bariquas, and broke his neck in his yeah. Edge's first match in the WWE. Mm -hmm. It can happen to anyone. Yeah. yeah. They need to be... They really need to pay attention to what they're doing and it's not just concussions they need to think about it's it's next yeah got it's got next. It's back. they've got 
they've got to, yeah, they've got to start protecting themselves better. I mean, they're not going to stop doing outside dives, obviously, but they, people need to learn to get into the better position to catch the guy. They need to, you know, aim better. The person delivering right. the dive needs to aim better. You know, just I think one thing they should do in the performance center is do diving drills because they do a lot of top rope stuff into the ring for training. But as far as I can tell, they don't do a lot of outside diving drills. So I think that's probably something that needs to be looked at. It's just, I remember um, on Twitter, and I, I can't remember who it was. I think it might have been Leo Rush. I think it was him. It was an, some indie worker that I follow. Forgive me if you're listening. I can't remember which one of you it was. It was Darius Lockhart. That's who it was. He's genius, by the way. He's fantastic. But he said... And he's right. People do way too many dives. It's not special yeah. anymore. He's right. No, he's it's not. Totally right. Don't be fooling me that. Like, how many times are we going to do this during the course of three hours? It's not special well, anymore. It, but they're also not hitting a lot of basic moves that actually look good. I mean, there's been so mm. few power bombs. And there's more spine busters um, yeah. and different want. types of suplexes. You know, try different things. Things are, you don't just have to fly to be interested. Yes. It's like the move that they do in the bingo hall when they're trying to get people excited. I see so many more of them even on the indie scene. But then, as you're alluding to, Kendra, I think when they're in the ring and actually working, they fall short. So they, like Randy Orton even said it too, like they have no choice other than to hashtag dive. Like, Enough with yeah. the diving already. Oh, just give me a match. I think, I think the Ran- I think the Randy Orton Rip Rogers thing that was just that was more a generational thing. I don't think they really give a toss about dives and stuff. I, I think that was more of a generational thing of you know older statesmen having a go at the younger guys. I think that was more that was more the case. I think it was kind of like backlash to um the Will Ospreay Ricochet match, which was very acrobatic. Not everybody's okay. cup of tea, but personally, I thought it was great. They complain about not much of a story being told, but in a tournament setting, which is what the match was, it was the best of Super Juniors tournament in New Japan. It's not meant to be a story. It's not, oh. you know, it, it doesn't have to be the Citizen Kane of wrestling matches. It, it was, it was, the, it was the Avengers of wrestling matches, and that's fine. You know, that's, it, oh, it, it yeah. was a popcorn match, and there's nothing wrong with that. Give people their money's worth. So, yeah, I agree with you. I'd rather it. see a great match where no one gets injured, and they actually really work the ring technically then care about a feud i mean if you're i mean the same people are working the same matches with the same people week in and week out i'm not saying i want to go back to the jobber way they did things in 94 but in the late 90s they had this person worked with that person one week and yeah the other person they're feuding with will run in and cause problems but people were working with different people none of this John Cena and Randy Orton for the 87th week in a row that we went through hey, about. Hey, hey. Oh, it's, man. I want to see Jimmy Uso face Jinder Mahal. Why not? You know, oh, bro, I, that's why not? What's wrong with it? It's different. Yes, they're both. Well, the Usos are tweeners right now because of their match at SummerSlam. But beyond that, I just want to see what about one of the Usos versus AJ? It doesn't matter that he has the strap. Give me some interesting matches. They don't have to be the same every week. Well, they do that in Ring of Honor a lot because they have a smaller roster and a lot of tag team wrestlers wrestle singles with singles champs and non-title matches. So, and well, back in back in two thousand, the cruiserweights also worked with the rest of the wrestlers, and they're exactly. all segregated. They went thick, yeah, no. Yeah, I agree. I entirely agree. All right, next. Okay, next couple. Let's talk about the women at Survivor Series because I think they're probably going to steal the show. I mean, we obviously we got the women's uh, Survivor Series traditional tag match. We don't know who the fifth member of SmackDown is going to be. I'm guessing Paige, but it could be somebody else. As you see, Ken, it could be Ember Moon. Um, and obviously we got Charlotte versus Alexa Bliss, uh, champ on champ match. That's going to be great. I mean, as we've, as we've said throughout this podcast, women are still on the show in WWE these days. This weekend will be no exception. What do you guys reckon? What do you think going to be the better match, you know, the, the, the tag or the champ on champ? I think the tag match for the women's is going to be 
really interesting because you have Asuka who cannot lose. Yeah. I mean, maybe true. a count out or something will be the way to go with her. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. about the only way. If Raw is going to lose, Asuka has to be counted out. She can't mm. lose, lose. And then you have Alicia Fox, who is crazy chick to the yeah. nth degree. And she's yeah. going to screw stuff up. You know <laughs> she's going to screw some of these things up. And then will Bailey actually really show an edgy side again like she did on yeah. SmackDown this week? Yeah, she needs that. Look, I love Bailey character. I love it. I love the, you know, people think I'm a hypocrite because I don't like New Day stuff. But Bailey, it's endearing. But it's, yeah. I think of it like the female John Cena. Like, um... She's John Cena is very kid friendly, very fun. You know, likes that, likes that, likes to entertain. But when it's time to get serious, time to get vicious, time to get mean, Cena yeah. can bring that out. We haven't seen that from Bailey, so not since she's been brought up from NXT. Yeah, no, nah. we saw we saw that with Nia, yeah. her matches with Nia Jax, so she had to bring that out. It was the only way she could beat Nia. But like you know, yeah. So, well, even her matches with Sasha were really. Oh yeah, those, those were brutal. That that the eye brutal. woman match. Oh, that eye woman match was incredible. That's the they best. They need to pop That's... this feud between the two of them, and I hope they start at Survivor Series. And really, it's time. That is legit. Show us what Bailey can do. That is again. Mm. That is legit the best match I've ever seen. That's how good that He's... match was. I was blown away by how good it was. And mm. never mind men or women. It was just the most phenomenal match I've ever seen. Yeah. Period. Absolutely. Absolutely. I will and agree with you. Really, and the thing is, we know Bailey is actually legitimately tough. Because before yeah. that, like a year or so before that, there was a fatal four-way match in NXT. I, I forget the other two for distance. Um, but Bailey copped a stiff shot to the jaw. And she had a big lump on her cheek. She was swollen. But she kept going for another 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. I think she may have dislocated jaw, quite frankly. It was never reported, but I think she might have been partially dislocated. But she kept going for another 15, 20 minutes. So she is legitimately tough. Oh, she yeah. can go and be mean and be vicious when she has to be. Bring it out. It's just that when she, yeah. was, when she was on NXT, she had so much more personality. She gets to Raw and yeah. she's lost in the sauce and can't figure yeah, out how yeah. to show. It's, it doesn't even just have to be Edge, but just show me some personality something. beyond this vanilla thing you've been giving me the whole time. Give me something. And so far, so bad. I think that's the real There's issue. No, no substance. None. You know, one thing I think would be cool to do, say if, like, she goes to, like, one of her hugs and to, to like, a dude or something, and one of the dudes get fresh, she'll, like, slaps him in the face. I think that would actually do her a bit of good because it'll show her she's got a bit of an edge. She's not someone to be messed with. I think that because if you think about it, if she's hugging people all the time, so she's probably going to take, take advantage. I'm sure that's probably happened to her in real life, unfortunately. Oh, I'm so sure. I reckon, so I, I, reckon I, if, like, I reckon if, like, you know, somebody like, I don't know, who's like a really nasty type heel that you can see going in a, for a hug with Bailey and her, you know, doing that too? Like, like somebody on Raw, like some, like, real jerk. Kevin Owens? Mm. I mean, you did say nope. jerk. Kevin Owens? He's on yeah, SmackDown. Yeah, that would work. True. Oh, SmackDown, yeah. Yeah, true. I'm not a jerk. Yeah, just a... Jerks? Oh, I got an idea. That would be a great what? place for Jason Jordan to start his turn. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he gets just fresh. Out there. Ba- yeah, he gets fresh with Bailey. Bailey slaps him. She gets an edge. Kurt Angle then reprimands him, and that begins him turning There's... on Kurt. That's that would an idea. Be a beautiful way to set him up. Of course, the reason and how Kurt. Perfect. Of course, the reason for Jordan Perfect. already Jordan the reason for Jordan to turn is already there. It already exists. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. But if he's starting to get smarmy in his turn and gets a little fresh, mm-hmm. yeah, it uh, would I just could, add but, one more element to his turn. I can see it. I can that, see that, it. that could be that could be the trigger. Mm-hmm. That could that could just be the trigger. That could they could build it up with obviously with Triple H attacking him this Monday and all that stuff and oh, yeah. being taken off the Raw team. That could be the start of it, but that could be the trigger. So he's primed and ready. I just hope he can handle it. I hope so well, too. So far, well, so they bad. Have to honestly, him, they they have to turn him heel because what? You no, know, yeah. baby, generic baby face thing wasn't working. You know, 
I, I look at no, they they. It's it, it, something that drives me nuts about WWE. They're so stubborn on some things, but on some things they're willing to relent. I mean, I admit I'm not a fan of Roman Reigns' push. I've been accused of bias, whatever. But I don't think even the biggest Roman Reigns fan deep down has to know it's just not working. It's right. just not working. Eventually, they're going to have to turn him heel. And the thing of it is, I think that's his natural play anyway. If you see the stuff he... The way he talks in the media, the way he talks on social on social media, non-kayfabe interviews, says, hey, me all you want, I'm just a guy getting rich. He goes to conventions, he drinks from a mug that says, uh, I'm drinking smart tears. It's just his natural way. I think, <laughs> well, I just some people just naturally have that. I'm sure it's not purpose really for him. I'm sure he's a very nice man in real life, obviously. But he just has this air of, like, arrogance and entitlement. Use yeah. it, for goodness sake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And then on the other hand, you have people who every time Cesaro started getting over as a singles oh. guy, he would they just start some... getting over and Vince would pull the plug. And he just yeah. starts this and it's it doesn't make sense. Stop. Stop, start, stop, start. You know, he's so dogged on some things and he's so inconsistent on others. It drives me mad. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Cesaro had everything he, it took. Why they drug their heels on him, I have absolutely no idea. Frankly, he's even now, he's not where he should be. No, mm. no, he should be working the top of the card. I agree. He is absolutely. that good. He has been that good since very early on. I mean, I loved him when he was in Ring of Honor as yes. mm, Claudio. Claudio. Oh my gosh, he was fantastic. He makes the most mm. amazing heel. Very European Claudio Castagnoli was just genius. Oh, he was so good. Yes. Oh, so, so good. And I never thought that Tyler Black could pull off everything he's pulled off yes, since he came up. I'm Absolutely. like, he's the one who breaks from the shield. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Boy, was I right. wrong about that. Oh, amazing. Yes. If you asked me who was going to break out from the shield, I would have seen Dean Ambrose. Oh, yeah. I thought he was going to get oh, like Stone Cold yeah. type one, but, but it happened. I said it in a number of articles. I said it when it happens, it'll be Ambrose. I think everybody thought that because he had the ring skill, he had the in-ring person, he had the personality, uh, the crazy guy gimmick, he cut a great promise, he was a total package. But oh, yeah. he went other directions. Yeah, he did. And, but, he's so not, not, smart. Yeah. yeah, but you know, not Rollins mad at work, Rollins mad at work, so what, 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 what can we say? There's this unspoken um, something that Rollins has, and I, can't, I can't explain it, but he just, he, he just made it work, just, and I don't think any yeah. of us saw it. He just has it. Yeah. Tons of it. What if it, what if it is? It. He's got it in space. Yes, he does. I'm like Brock Lesnar. <laughs> well, hang on. We'll talk about that. that. <laughs> hang on. No, I figured segue. that was a segue. Great segue. <laughs> yep. Bang. Uh, <laughs> right. AJ Styles, Brock Lesnar. Thank goodness the nightmare that is Jinder Mahal's title reign is over. Because that was never going to bloody work. He um, wasn't even getting over in India. They've had to cancel a date for a tour, for, the, for the Indian tour because tickets weren't selling. They've combined into one big show. Jinder's facing Triple H. He's out of the management picture for now. Thank goodness. Hopefully it's permanent. And now we've got a much better match with AJ Styles and John Cena. But and there's a lot of AJ John Cena? A, AJ Styles, Brock Lesnar, sorry. Yeah. Hey, hang on, hang on. This is the first show. Cut me some slack. <laughs> But, I, yes. yes, yes, yes. I've got the radio background. This is the first show I've done in a long time. Coming, yeah. <laughs> obviously, Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, <clears throat> much better match. But Kendra, oh. I know you've got some concerns there. So, I always have concerns when Brock Lesnar is involved. Yeah. Ambrose yeah. is the one who was public about he had to carry Brock in their match because mm. Brock was dead weight. Oh, and. The thing is, Brock has all the skills in the world. Absolutely. Probably he gets in the ring and he forgets he's not in an octagon. No. Yeah. And AJ is a pro, but Brock is the beast incarnate. 
that's not a nickname. I mean, that's legit. He'll he'll no. he'll he'll f you up. If, if he, he'll happily f you up, and he'll and he'll enjoy doing it happily. He legit. Said and Mahal would have taken a stiff pop at him, and Mahal would have been the, destroyed. Absolutely, because Jinder likes taking advantage as well. That's well documented. He, he likes taking advantage in the ring as well, and you know he he would yeah. try that. He would have tried that with Brock. Brock would not be happy about it, and he would have thrown him a few dozen times. He would have stiffed him with the elbows. He would have, yeah, would have been. Would I not personally have been think that Mahal needed someone like Bob Holly to cut him down to size early on. Oh yeah, Bob. <laughs> he was a bit he was a bit too old school at times too old school at times like the oh like he the, was a bully yeah yes. like the bill demott type old school yeah. like just not inappropriate type old school just being a bully but at there are times when an older statesman has to take a young fellow aside and say you need to you need to you know you're, you're getting an education tonight mate so exactly and he did that with Oh, I can't remember the name of the guy. Matt he Capitelli. Took... What? I think you mean Matt Capitelli, correct? No, um, 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 one of the French Canadian guys who ran around Rene with the Dupree. Rene, Rene Dupree. Rene Dupree. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, because Rene got a, Rene, real life, got a ticket on a car that was rented by Hardcore Holly. And he never paid the ticket, and he never told Hardcore about it. Hardcore found out and really screwed him up in the ring, hard yeah. on TV. Mm. I mean, you know, there are some things you, you some some things you have to pay. Some people you just have to give respect to. Some people there are certain rules you have to follow. Otherwise, either okay. killed in the ring or wrestlers caught. So right. So it's just it's just but how it is. One of the unspoken. I, I think Mahal could have benefited from someone like Hardcore Holly. A absolutely, I, I I agree. Well, needless to say, we all know Brock Lesnar's going to go over because he's going to be stay strong for for Roman at WrestleMania. Yeah. It's not going to go longer than ten minutes. But AJ because is Brock, so good. Can handle it. Yeah, obviously he, he gets blown up after five. But you know. AJ is so good, it'll be a good match no matter what. It yeah, 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 AJ can AJ can make a broomstick look great in there. So that's yeah. that's that's no thing. So that'll be fine. Yeah. And um, AJ's AJ's just about the best there is right now. I, you know. Absolutely. He's better yeah, than him, him and Kenny Omega, best in the world. Oh. Yeah. No, I will I'll add a third name to that. Him, Kenny Omega, and Katsuchika Kats Okada, best, absolutely best in the world right now, in my opinion. Okay, that's that's just my that's just my personal feelings on that. The three best workers anywhere in the world right now, but them. Right. Uh, well, I think we can wrap up with the what will probably be the main event on the car, the five and five men Survivor Series match, Team Raw Team SmackDown. That's that that build's been pretty damn good. Uh, we have to admit. I mean, all the unsafe stuff, the invasions. That's this is going to be interesting, and the stuff on SmackDown with you know SmackDown getting pretty much obliterated, people may think that's a sign SmackDown will lose. I think it's the opposite. I think SmackDown's going to go up, go go over. I'm just wondering because Raw has Angle, Trip, Strowman, Joe, Finn. That is a stacked deck right there. Which on the other side. Robot. Which is exactly why I think SmackDown's going to win. It's too sad. The, the thing I would love to see is I cannot wait to see Bobby Roode and Triple H work the yeah, ring that together. Would be, that would be cool. Knowing Triple H, he will request that he gets at least five minutes in the ring with Roode. Guaranteed. The, uh, dating back to don't fire EY, dating back to Team Canada, I have said that Bobby Roode is so Triple H in so yeah. many ways. Agreed. And this match is going to be just amazing. Just it, Even mm. just those two is uh, going to mm. be a treat. This is, this is one of those matches where I think the story is going to take precedence over the work. I think the women are going to give yeah. us the work 
and the men are going to okay. give us the story. There's lots of story to tell here. There's so many Absolutely. ways you can go. You could you get Kurt and Shane in a ring that could be an absolute beautiful train wreck. What is Jason yeah. Jordan going to do? How is how are Kevin and Sammy going to play into this? If they play into it at all, there's so many ways to take this story. Kane. There's Kane too, but of I course. Was, like, where's, yeah. I wonder how this is going to play also, out. I also worry with all those moving parts, though, with all those possibilities, they may overbook the match. They may overbook it. They might try to bring everything at once. They might do jo Jason Jordan and Kevin Owens and Sammy and Kane. They might do the whole nine yards, knowing them. So they might they might go full WCW and just overbook the crap out. Yeah, they could. I I kind of hope they do. Really? Oh yeah, I want to see. I want to see all of it. They you have built see the so train. much. Huh? You want to see the train wreck? Well, no, and I don't think it'll be a train wreck because Triple H is so heavily involved in it. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. I'm willing to be, I see two scenarios to how this will, will play out. I see two possible scenarios. Either I don't see how Jason Jordan costing the raw side will, will help because um, then he makes enemies of both Kurt Angle and the authority, I think. Somehow that Jason Jordan thing has to work out with him joining the authority somehow. Triple H, Triple H and Stephanie, like Monday authority thing. I I can see Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens interfering and costing SmackDown and then asking to be moved to Raw. But with all the build up of SmackDown that they've been built up and having the chip on the shoulder being called the B Show, even though they really are. I I I, I kind of get the feeling that it's just I don't know. I mean. There are, some, there, there are two ways that can really go about it. It, can, it really is a 50-50 chance. I can't bring a strong prediction. I've just got this nagging feeling that with all the build-up they've had and how stacked the Raw team is, SmackDown will find a way to win. I think possibly Kurt Angle and Triple H will do something, uh, start arguing about something. Either Kurt or Triple H will get pinned. Then somebody from the SmackDown team will pin Kurt or Triple H as they'll be the last persons in the match. And that will be Team SmackDown victory. That's that's my prediction, at least. So. What about just there's somebody that hasn't been mentioned? We've talked about Jason Jordan. We've talked about Kevin Owens and Sammy and Kane. There's also Daniel Bryan. Ah. Nobody has mentioned Daniel Bryan. You think he can heal soon because he and Shane aren't getting along. That way, yeah. Raw can lose. Kurt can get fired from Raw. He'll go to SmackDown with it, with Shane, mm. and mm. Stephanie will grab up Daniel Bryan. That's not a bad idea. But the thing of it is, Daniel Bryan is so beloved. Will people buy the heel too? I think so. That's the I only problem. I think so. He's done. I mean. We all he know can he can heal. Heal. I think he can do it. I think the fans will believe it. Oh, he can play heel. He's played a very convincing heel in the past, but yes. he's been so beloved this for so long, and I, his chance is still so over. I have concerns that it might not work, but I absolutely, I, I it's a great idea. But so I just we, have my concerns that it might work. Hogan was well, Hogan was beloved huh. too for a long time, and then he turned, and no, that kind of didn't. That, that, that kind of worked second. really, really well. So. I mean, if anybody can well, do it, so can Daniel. I think Daniel could do it. it could what about, be done. Oh, wait. What about turn the tables for a whole, oh, oh, I can't come back. They kill me. I can't come back. I'm not coming back for you guys. You're not worth it. Daniel Bryan can flip that. I'm not coming back to the ring because you guys are not worth it. The fans. That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. Just a thought. That could work. That could work. That There's many work. directions Brian can make it work. I just have, hmm. I, I don't know, no one's mentioned Daniel O'Brien yet, and I just had to, he's the one who, he went to make amends, and then boom, he's attacked. And none There's of his all, people backed him up. There's also the possibility, this is the unbelievably slim possibility, but somebody on the SmackDown team gets attacked and taken out, he puts his boots back on. For one night only, because it's a tag match. You probably wouldn't have to do anything. They WWE wouldn't get in chip, wouldn't would no, wouldn't be wouldn't no, wouldn't get trouble with the concussion lawsuit because he wouldn't take any bumps. He just do a Bret Hart thing. He give bumps for not taking. Yeah. But 
but that might be cruel to him because they won't let, let him wrestle full time. But I don't know. That's just it's 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 it's, it's amazing. I guess he's another factor that no one has mentioned this past I, week. We have. And it would yeah. be. Would be a shock. It would be something not a lot of people would see coming. I I can see this working. Oh sure. I, obviously, I still have concerns, but I can see this working. Oh, absolutely. And he's been such a big part of the angle anyway. You know. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So mm. why shouldn't that resolve in some fashion? I think that's brilliant if they go that way. I'd love to see it. I think it'd be fun. Mm. You know, I'll, I'll, that will work. I'll, that could work. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we've covered just about everything for, for the very first episode of Wrestling in the Rand. What do you guys think? <laughs> did we get it all? I think, yeah, we did. I'm looking at it now. I'm cheating. Yeah, we did get it all, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Great. Nice, awesome. Mitch. We did. We got every second of it. Nice. Great. Sweet. Oh, wait, there's one thing we didn't get. No one talked about what? Enzo. Huh? We Enzo. didn't talk about the pre-show match. Oh, Enzo. Oh, okay. Enzo Kalisto. Yes. Do we really talk about the inside list? He does. Botch does. Let him have it. All right. All right. Let it rip, Botch. Go ahead. As I, yours. as I said a thousand years ago during this very video cast, Enzo is improving. Kalisto is great anyway. Like, they're going to make a match of this. Kalisto will make a match out of this if it kills him. And will you stop? So I think this is going to be very interesting. I, frankly, really what I want out of this is to hear him come out on the mic. That's what I want, and that's what he will give me. He will come out on that short Super 55 and blow our faces off. I think it's going to be well, lots of fun. what he does best. Yeah, Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I do. I agree with you, but I think the match, is, I think the match will surprise us, too. I think, it, I think they've got, both got something to offer. I think you'll be surprised. If do you think there'll be any outside care. interference? That is a good question because it could absolutely happen. There could be. There's many ways that that could go. And oh, yeah. I mean, they've kind of already had this match already, so they would. Ha it would be nice if they'd spice it up with something else. Right. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it could. It could happen. Like, I could absolutely see some outside interference happening. Certainly, Drew Gulag Drew. could get involved. I think that could be fun. Oh. There's lots of ways you could take it. So. Cool. I like that match. Right. Maybe I'm all by myself, but I like the idea of that match. I think it'll be fun. I will be watching it. Even if everybody else goes to the bathroom, I'm going to watch that match, and I'm going to like it. <laughs> oh. And if I'm home by oh. then, I'll watch it too. See, listen to this. She won't even be home for it. <laughs> I, I like Enzo. Oh, Never mind. He's I'm funny. But he's funny, but I still reckon he's a bit of a clod in the ring, but that's just me. Did oh, you... Mitch, you ever get a chance to go to a live event with Enzo on mic, you will be blown away. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. Watch the match from 205 that. this past week. Watch the match from 205 this past week. It's not oh, great. Match? I'll watch, I'll watch, it's I'll not, watch it. It's not bad. I'll watch it after this is over. It's not bad. I promise it's not bad. He's getting I'll, there. I'll watch, it. I'll watch it, Botch. I will watch it. I will watch it, Botch Man. Have a sweet I will talk. Watch Botch Man. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just we chill don't out have those here. I told and you, have a don't sweet talk. I don't even know what the hell they are. They look like Mentos to me. Oh, oh so much better. Yeah, much better. <laughs> much better. Cool. All right. Anything else you guys want to cover? Want to cover Vince Russo, Jim Cornette? You want to cover? What? <laughs> next time. Yeah, save, save all next that time. stuff for next time because we're an hour and three minutes into this one. So. Oh, wow. Okay. We're right? over. Ooh. Yes. So way, we are, people. This way is going over. Half our treat, you guys. <laughs> right. Okay. Time to sign off. I'm Sue Mitch. That's Botch. That's Queen Kendra. Thank you very much for joining us for the very first Wrestling in the Round. We're going to try to do this to these things as much as we can, like once a month, maybe once a fortnight. Keep tuning in. Thanks a lot. Catch you later. Bye. Bye, Bye.